Go, go, gadget god rays. Look at all these shafts of light just shining down. I'm glad you're here. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Sounds like a plan. Ah. All these things we have to talk about. Gallus, Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Indirectly. The Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. She's the mistress of night and darkness, and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. Nocturnal isn't one for worship and reverence. There are no priests and no sermons, no services, and no arms. She influences our luck, and in return, demands payment. You're closer to understanding than you realize. The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense, and sometimes the cost can be quite high. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal dictates how well we perform as rogues. Again, you have to think differently. Haven't you ever noticed how our luck behaves? Like a novice picking an impossible lock, or a blind man suddenly turning to face you as you reach for his pocket. It's through these subtle means that Nocturnal influences us. Nocturnal's whim is the greatest mystery to everyone. There have been volumes written on the subject. Does she exact payment when we die? When we suffer, does she revel in our misery? No one knows. The return certainly seems worth the risk, though. From the moment you were struck with my poisoned arrow at Snowvale Sanctum, my path changed its course. Perhaps I couldn't bring Mercer back alive, but together, we were able to clear my name and to put Gallus's memory to rest. I'd always intended Mercer's fate to ultimately be decided by the Guild, and it seems they've spoken. It's my hope that you will, yes. This way, please. All right, my goodness, that was a lot of talking. What's up, Brynjolf? You're pretty quiet today. Allow us to go inside. Nightingale Central. I love how all these guilds and organizations use caves as their location. Trying to understand why I'm here, lad. I'm no priest. I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. Come on, man. You're a businessman. You should get it. You're a good thief, Brynjolf. You have one of the keys to the empty vault. I mean, come on. You can be trusted, right? This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Cool. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Activate the armor stone. Let me to run ahead. I'm not. I'm can't you see me like running over here? Armor armor armor. Armor 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 armor. Sweet. Magic armor just added to my inventory. All right, let's put it on, because this is cool stuff. Apparel, where is my... Uh, unfortunately, I lose a bunch of... Well, whatever. Uh, Nightingale armor 57. Where's my Elven Gilded armor? Yeah, 74. See, this this is where we, we run into problems where I need to be able to... Um, 
be able to upgrade stuff because I lose some cool things by doing this. So, increased stamina, frost resistance, muffled and move silently. That's that's helpful. Lock picking is easier. One-handed attacks do more damage. That's good. And 15% uh, on illusion. Cool. But most importantly, it looks really cool. I mean, this is this is maybe my favorite set of armor in the game. I'm not sure, just in terms of appearances. Still out there. Let's get this show on the road. I already did. You do your part. Do it, Brynjolf. Yes. So, here, walk. Don't stop for me. Really, don't stop for me. Dark Brotherhood stuff is good, too, but, um, I don't know. I, I'm kind of a fan of the the Nightingale armor. Just, it looks pretty cool. It's not all creepy and weird and all that. Not necessarily that the Dark Brotherhood stuff is either, but, I don't know. I just, I enjoy the Nightingale stuff. It looks, it just, it looks cool. Cool. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? I think I would like to add a whole series of questions. By transacting the oath with Nocturnal, you're entering into a business deal. You'll be provided all of the power and knowledge befitting a Nightingale. You're free to use those powers as you see fit, to further your own goals, or the goals of the Thieves' Guild. In return, you'll be required to defend the Twilight Sepulchre, and everything within when the need arises. More importantly, upon your death, your spirit will be bound to the Twilight Sepulchre as one of its guardians. Seems easy enough. Once the oath has been struck, the terms are binding. Knowing this, are you ready to undergo the ceremony? No, I, I don't think I want to. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. You you need to get a new saying. You've said that several times now. Oh, I can't use it. She has to. All right, well, it's cool. Do it, Carlia. Pull it. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Has your head stopped spinning? Run, run, run! Come on, everyone. Get on your spots. Today, please. There we go. Almost there. Let's do this. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Murk, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath, to serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you. 
as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Friendly sword, isn't she? Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Hmm. I bet he kicked over Nocturnal's cat's food bowl. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulcher, the Skeleton Key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and, in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Well, yes, but the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities, the potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, potential becomes limitless. Sounds like that movie. Although it would benefit the guild more than you can imagine, in the end it would do more harm than good. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence, and whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Business, you say? Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. What? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. Um. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. Oh, well that was, I guess I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Urkenthand, huh? If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Carlia. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade than spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. I, and some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Turns Until out, Delvin was right all along. The best part about this is, we've already been to Urkenthand. Ur Urken Urkenthand? I'm not even sure how to say it right. But uh, we went there a long, long ago, if you remember, so... I'm just going to go ahead and bust right past Carlia. Excuse me. Hang a left. And hang a right. And uh, theoretically, I'll get out of this dungeon at some point. I know it's not a dungeon. 
But uh, we'll just go ahead and run over to Urkenthand. Thanged? Urken? Urkenthand? I can't even say it. And uh, I think we're going to end up wrapping most of this up today. That's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Turns out we'd been at Raldbathar, not Urkingthand, so I'm uh, actually climbing my way up. You can see uh, I had to basically drop down from over there, uh, kind of wound my way through there, and came up this way, and then hit a lever that opened up that. So now we're climbing up and uh, have someone up there to take care of, so let's just go ahead and shoot them. Okay, they're dead. And I'm sure we'll have someone else along the way, because I've, I've had to kill a couple of bandits, and they're just regular one-shot bandits, so I haven't been too concerned with skipping over that stuff. I mean, there's there's going to be so much going on in this episode, as is, that, uh, you know, you're not going to miss anything. Trust me. You're, you're, you're not. It'll be fine. Uh, question is, do I know where to go? The answer to that? Not really, but we'll figure it out. I've done this before. Probably at least once, if not twice. So, uh, we'll figure it out. Hello, Bandit Chief. Just gonna load you up with arrows. You don't see me, apparently, because you're blind. That's good. Nope, you didn't heard something. Um. You yield. Um. I- oh. I don't accept your yield. Thank you for offering. I don't accept. I do not accept. Oh, don't fall off. Don't fall off. You might have something I want. Orcish Battle Axe of Torpor. Um, no. We're going to say no. I'll just take my arrows and go. I don't know that I really need to be up here, but uh, I wanted to get the chest, so I don't care. It's all good. Um, Orcish Bow of Frost. Um, no. And then we'll open this one up, and then I think we need to go downstairs where we can actually get in. Do we get in downstairs? Maybe we do get in up here. Like I said, I, I'm, I gotta admit, not entirely certain where I'm supposed to be going, but I knew the chief was up here. So I figure, you know, let's take care of that. That way we can maybe get some loot, since it seems like I haven't gotten much loot in the last, I don't know, last couple of episodes. Wow, I cannot pick an adept lock. This is, this is sad. Uh, a little up. A little more up. A little more up. My goodness. It wasn't even a hard one. It was just a depth. Mm, nope, nope, and nope. Pretty sure I don't want any of those. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Nope, let's keep climbing. Since that seems to be the thing to do at the moment. There we go. Let's go inside and, and see if Mercer and Carlia are already in there. The Irking Thand Arcanix. Arcanix, 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 Arcanix. Take your pick. One of those will work. Uh, I see blood and bodies, so I'm going to assume that Carlia and what's his face have already rolled through. Brynjolf. Um. Oh, they left the chest. And my lock pick broke instantly. That's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, let's try left. There we go. That's a little better. A little better. So let's go left more. More still. There we go. That was nice. I will absolutely take some orcish arrows. We'll take all the ore we can get. Um, I think elves here is kind of handy. Emperor parasol moss, frost salts, yep, gold ore. Iron Ore, Lockpick, Malachite, Mora Tapanella. Those are kind of cool. We'll take some Netch Leather. Archalcum, Quicksilver. Sure, we'll take the Potion. Why not? Silver, Stalrum. Uh, Dwarven Boots of Eminent Stamina. That's a really nice stamina. We're going to ignore that. Dwarven Bow, we'll ignore that. And we'll take the Circlet because it's worth money and doesn't weigh anything. Elven Battle Axe of Freezing. That's a pretty pricey item. We'll go ahead and take that. Although I suspect we're going to be so loaded down with stuff that I'm going to end up having to drop things as we go. We'll see if that turns out to be true, but at the very least, I'm loaded down with potions these days. So, I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens here. I don't think I have any more carrying capacity that I've kind of hidden. So, uh, we might 
have to be careful about what we take. Any more dead bodies lying around looking to give me potions and things? Because I'm going to be using them. I can pretty much guarantee that as we carry on further into this area. Uh, dwarven bolts. Nope, we're just going to leave them. The bolts do me no good right now. Although I will look for soul gems. Soul gems. Soul gem. Thank you. More soul gems. More soul gems. I will take all the more soul gems I can get. Uh, grand soul gem. Ooh, and a lesser one that's already filled. That's handy dandy. Because uh, at some point, we are going to need to refill our nightingale blade. Full of pointy point stuff. That'll be good. It was nice of them to wait for me. You know, so we could all do this together like a team. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Much obliged. Glad you could wait. It was really nice of you. I might be blown through here. I'm not sure. I'm not really interested in finding a, fighting a bunch of Dweamer machines. They're kind of tough. And I, I feel like I'll just end up wasting a bunch of stuff if I stand around and fight them. So, yep. We're just going to carry on. Hmm. All right. Let's let's go look around. Oh, hi. Hi, little spider. All right. Um... I don't see anything over here worth checking out, so we'll just run past the spider. That works for me. And hit the lever. Oh, you came with me. That's nice. Oh, there's my crew. Oh, hi guys, I brought friends. Have, have you all been introduced to Dwarven Spider Worker? Or etc.? Hmm, alright, I guess you have. Well then, that answers my question. Oop, take the arrow before it runs away. Oh, nope. Come back. I do want the soul gems. I did say I was collecting soul gems. Soul gem. Sure they are. We have to catch up to him before it's too late. Alright. We should tread carefully. I wouldn't be surprised if he's left behind a few surprises for us. Probably. That seems like his style. I mean, you know, we, we did look in his house and everything. There were traps and all sorts of things in there. All right, let's do this. What do you say? Hmm. All right. Hello, big spiky thing that just hit me in the face, but didn't really actually do that much damage. We'll just check all these spiders and keep on keeping on. Black Briar Reserve. Ooh, that's some good expensive stuff. We'll take that, because that's expensive. Ooh, lockpicks. Um, hmm. Interesting. Dweamer Urn. Um, an expert one, you say, huh? Always start with the middle. I haven't really taken any. I don't think I've taken any at all. Any skills in the lockpicking line, because... Usually I figure, eh, why bother? I'm usually able to get through the game without ever taking any of them, but we might take a few just to play around, or I might take them just to play around. I'm not really sure. Solution of Strength, Amethyst, uh, we'll take the ingots. And we'll search the chest. Common Soul Gem, I will take a ring, why not? They don't weigh much. Basically, I'm looking to take stuff that's lightweight. Solid Dweamer Metal, you're not lightweight. You're just not. Don't tell me you are, because I don't believe you. Unfortunately, all this ore and ingots, uh, they are kind of heavy. And this is, I think, where this starts to go south a little bit. What's that? It would be Falmer. I don't think you're going to be able to do much. Just saying. Damn it. There's no way through. Well... I mean, he is kind of uh, clearing the way for us. 
And yoink. Skeevers. We'll be ready for him. Let's keep moving. And then he runs off. All right. Well, like Brenyol said, let's keep moving. He's toying with us. That's all right. We'll toy with him later. It'll it'll work out just fine. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Oh, these are big areas to cover. Size of this place. Have you ever seen anything like it in your life, Lassie? Can't say that I have. Imagine the riches hidden We'll just go ahead and turn that lever. That gets one of the gears turning. Hello. Don't push me off, Carlia. That is unnecessary. Come on, guys. We're not done. No one's in there. All right, let's check the chest. Yeah, I'm going to be hitting a lot of weight here just based on the random stuff I'm picking up. Frostbite venom, potent poison, poison, poison. Although that is really good stuff to get right there. Eh? I enjoy some good poisons. Throw that on an arrow and, uh, yeah. That makes, that makes me happy. And someone else unhappy when they get hit by it. Okay, we're going to run down in just a moment. See if we can unlock this gate first. Does not look like it's anything to the left. Mm, I'm going to say a little more to the left. Or I mean to the right. I said wasn't anything to the left. No, it is to the left. It's not to the right. Let's go maybe about right there. Ta-da! Um, sure. Yep, that was a waste. Whatever. That was fine. I knew the Felmer had walked out of range. Eh, whatever. It's all good. Another chest. Sure, we'll open that up. Hide boots of stamina. Circlet of major archery. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Maybe what I'll do right now, actually... Let's see, let's check our apparel here. Maybe I'll just go ahead and throw that on. Circlet of Major Archery. That's going to remove my Nightingale Hood, but um, really all it does is give me some illusion bonus. I don't even use illusion spells, so whatever. Whereas I do use my bow uh, rather frequently, even if I am a terrible shot. There we go. Take that, buddy. Are you dead? I guess you're dead. All right. So once again, we have some gears turning, but not all of them. Let's go downstairs, everyone. And uh, apparently we have a gloom lurker. Hi. Let me move around so I don't shoot my guys. That would be a good thing to not shoot them. Especially because I do good damage these days with my bow. Oh, that was like right between the arms. That was like... I went seven hole on that guy. That's that's a shame. That's like straight out of hockey right there. Oh hi. Oh no. You're friendly. Never mind. We're not used to having two guys running around. That's kinda weird. Um can I can I move you maybe? No. Ah, good, I didn't move you just enough to grab my arrow. I mean I, I'm using the, the crummy steel arrows just because I have them. We're not going to rely on them or anything. But down we go. Not sure who sees me now, but whatevs. It's all good. Definitely take the... Oh, you know what? I probably left one on that guy. Here, let me come back. Let me come back. Come back. No, you don't have one. All right, good. I'm going to say, I should probably take all the Falmer ears I can get just so I can make poisons out of them. Greater Soul Gem. Congratulations, me. I just got hooked up on that one. Uh, so that's where I came in, right? That's where I came in? Oh, do we have to run and, like... Hit those both quickly, maybe? Is that, is that what we need to do? Here, alright. Let me do this. We're going to wait a moment. Grab some stamina. Put my bow away. You know what? I'm impatient, so... 
Ah, uh, potions. There we go. Minor stamina. And then let's run across here. Run, run, run. And we'll get to this guy. And open this one. And let's go downstairs now. And let's get through here. All right, guys, come on. No? You don't want to come over here? I'm afraid if I go back, you'll you'll not be able to make it through. Like, it'll close on, on me or something. really don't want to do that. So, if I'm leaving stuff behind, so be it. Question. Will they set that off? Because I won't. Yep. <laughs> ah, that was funny. That was funny. Sorry, Carlia. Just messing with you a little. Here, you know what? I, I'm just messing with you just a little. There you go. Heal up, Carlia. You're fine. Heal up, Brynjolf. You're fine. Just messing with you guys. Just having a little good time. Messing around. All right. Let us get through here as quickly as we can, because this stuff takes forever. Hi. Drop down, buddy. Drop down. Um. Oh, that was a terrible shot. I think Carlia is loading him up with arrows as well. Okay. Ooh, two ears from you. That's good, because I kind of skipped over a Falmer body. I was hoping that I'd be able to get some additional ears, so that's good. Oh, hi. Oh, I did hit you. That's good. Hit you. Oh, and you're toast. Good. Let's go check you out then. Maybe you'll have some more ears. I mean, theoretically, you should have two, right? Ooh, po po poisons. I can't even speak. Potent poisons, even. Um, I'm not sure which way we go, so let's... Um, kind of falling off the edge here. Let's go up top. Is there anything up here? Bleeding crowns. I don't remember if that's useful at all. Glowing mushrooms. Oh, we're going to leave the chitin. I still think there's something I can do with it that I can't remember, but... um. Whatever. I don't have the, the carrying capacity right now to grab that sort of stuff, so we're just not going to. Hmm. Things are a little shaky-quaky, aren't they? And that would be a Felmer up there, so let's shoot him in his Felmer face. Alright, and Felmer, Felmer is dead. It's a dead Felmer. All right, we'll just uh, kind of drop down this way. Got to be wary of the chorus guys whenever they show up. They're kind of a pain. Plunk. Hello, you. Let's go and get rid of you. Oh, you're dead. Oh, I don't know how that, how that one missed you. I'm not really sure. Oh, that one tagged you, didn't it? Oh, you healed yourself, you cheater. Don't heal yourself, that's cheating. Because then then we do stuff like that, and it looks silly when you don't die and you get a kill cam shot. Stop doing that. That was definitely a magic user there, just in case there was any doubt whatsoever, which there wasn't. But just in case. Which there wasn't. Uh, Falmer ears, gold. Steel arrow, all right. We are still making our way through here. We're going to have to cross and go up at some point, so I suppose we do that now. Again, I might end up skipping some, some stuff in here, and if that's okay, well, it'll have to be okay, I guess. Open the door! I don't know where everyone is. I'm just kind of leaving them in the dust here. All right, well, I seem to have left everyone behind, which, um, I guess whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, what do we have going on in here? You're empty, 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 
empty. Um, I see a scroll. Ooh, another one. I, I guess Mercer's uh, price scanner wasn't working. What do we have over here? Some struts, gears, etc. Run bucks. Ooh, another scroll. Another potion of healing. I'll probably need that the way things go. Really not sure where everyone is. That's kind of annoying. Won't lie, it is kind of annoying. Like, where are all of you guys? Did you die? Are you over there? No, I don't think so. I don't know, they should teleport to me. Whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. As long as I don't end up fighting four or five of these guys at once, we'll, we'll be okay, I think. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. We'll open the gate. Um, let's go ahead and go back into stealthy stealth mode. This is another large area. Oh, I see a Falmer down there. Where are you going, buddy? And another one. Oh, there are a lot of them down there. Oh, that totally missed. Oh, crud. I got more coming up, don't I? I sure do. Oh, crud. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. I don't want to fight, like, four or five of these guys at once. Crud, are you kidding me? Still more? I still see two more dots. Holy cow, man. Are we done? I see a gold. Take the gold. Actually, almost out of steel arrows here. All right, look at that. And back in the stealth mode. Oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Jeez. Craziness. That's not really how I want to do things, but um, I'll take the barnacle. Why not? Why not? Skulker. Now, I did see... A couple more dots, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, oh, crud. Ah, oh, I see that guy too. That's going to be... Hmm. That's going to be unpleasant. I'm going to have to fight him on my own because I've been abandoned by all my friends. They're all like, hey, let's be nightingales. We'll be part of the trinity. We'll be like buds. We'll hang out. We'll do stuff together. And then they ditch me. I guess technically I ditched them, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. Yes, do have a seat. Permanently. Just looking to see if there are any still kicking around over here. I kind of wonder if this is the better way to go. And just skip through the water. Assuming I can get to where I need to go by doing this. Bypass that big guardian. Because those things are just not friendly. Although. You do get good loot from them. So. There is something to be said for that. I think you do anyway. I mean, if I can take it out like this, this is uh, well worth the expense. Oh, I have one iron arrow. Let's use it. On you! Ah, all right. Back to orcish arrows. Which theoretically should increase my killing capacity here. There we go. Look at that. Is there anyone up there, maybe? Let's go see what the centurion has. You can't trust me. You never know when I'm actually going to kill something versus I'm not. Uh, those would be nice to have under other circumstances, but I just don't have the carrying capacity, so we'll leave that. Did I check you? Uh, yeah, let's take that. Wisp wrappings. I'll take the steel arrows again, even though I don't really want them. We'll, we'll go ahead and take them. Okay, just gonna go ahead and sneak by the skeevers here, assuming I can. It would be nice if my friends would rejoin me. This is kind of annoying, but whatever. Carry on. Um, I th 
think, if I'm not mistaken, I want to go, maybe I end up going that way. Let's try that. I, I was just thinking I need to go, I was thinking I need to go that way, but I don't think I can climb that way. From the looks of things, hello. I vaguely remember shooting you. That's kind of a terrible thing to say. Man, I killed a bunch of these guys. Did I? Maybe maybe I didn't kill that one. Night Prowler. Uh, 426. Yikes. Getting weighed down here. Mercer must have killed that one, because I don't remember doing that. It'd be kind of funny if uh, Carlia and company died. Like, they just were no longer in the game, and then I got to do this all on my own. That'd be great. I assume that's not the case, but could be wrong. You never know. Bombs away! Oh, you move quickly. Too bad I can time your movement. All right, let's get around the corner here. Hi, guys. Oh, that's one dead spider. And that's another dead spider. And another dead spider. And somewhere there's a Felmer that needs to be dead, too. Mr. Gloom Lurker! Oh, that was terrible. You're dead, too. All right, good. It's almost like I sometimes know how to play this game. Almost. I do like all these frostbite venoms, though, in case I, I want to get around to making some more dark leather bag holdery thingies. Bandolier stuff. That's what I mean. Just thought it'd be kind of funny to say it that way. Uh, then this is what I'm going to need is frostbite venom. Because that's what you need to make the dark stuff. Otherwise, you can make the regular plain leather stuff without. All right, let's check over here. Um... I don't think there's anything in the eggs. Um, can I get up this way? Not sure. Does not appear to be the case. So, away we go. This is where we're supposed to go. So, new area. Theoretically, my friends will rejoin us. Vitalos, Mercer has a lot to answer for. Look at that. They decided to join us again. How nice of them. The stench. This place reeks of fauna. This must be their hive. We'll have to keep silent if you want to avoid the stench. What were you saying about being silent? Sorry, I missed that. I, I was busy killing a spider as loudly as I possibly could. Sorry. Uh, let's check upstairs first. I'm trying to remember if this is the, the mission I'm thinking of. There's been one I've been thinking about for quite a while, and I think this might eventually be it. I'm not sure, but whatever. I'll let you know if it is when we get to there or not, however it turns out. Um, sure, ingots, ingots. We'll, we'll take some ingots because why not? Um, Mercer's here. I can feel it. Well, I mean, we did see him earlier, you know, so... Did you... Maybe you forgot about that. Maybe Carlia forgot about that. Maybe maybe she's not feeling well and she forgot. Random floating hand. And skull. And chest. All right, let's go the way we're supposed to go now. As loudly as we can, right? Not supposed to be quiet. That's what I remember. Ooh, more Falmer. Here, they're going to come up here and look. Then we can shoot them in the face with arrows. Come on, guys. Help me out. 
I'll, I'll work on this guy since you guys kind of are in the way of that one. I don't want to hit you. Take care of it, guys. Come on. Out of the way. I'm trying to kill that one. I mean, I did shoot it in the face like I said I would, but... Yes, that is indeed why you are the best. Do pat yourself on the back, good sir. Pat away. Could have done that. We'll turn that off now. Ah, thief's last words. I am curious, what are the thief's last words? Uh, you're going to be books. Thief's last words. No, we thought they're real, but I've seen them. The eyes of the snow elves. The dwarves thought they took them from the Falmer, but they themselves were fooled. A statue built in secret by the slaves. The eyes burn into you, and I see them even now. Seraph has escaped through the collapsing tunnel, but he'll never escape what we've seen. And we'll never believe him, and he'll be driven mad by the knowledge that he'll never see them again. But I may yet see them again before I die. Probably not. Let's grab potions and move on. Hmm, leather strips. Uh, sure, all this stuff that I'm never ever going to use. Bloody rags, weak poison, weak poison. I'll take that stuff because I will use that. Um, tongue, stamina, poison, salt pile. All right, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Wow, this is a creepy little area, isn't it? Really kind of messed up. Let's let's continue onward. Pressure plate. Pressure plates. Don't step on them, guys. Ah, oh, you're gonna step on them. I know it. I know it. Yep, you stepped on them. I told you not to step on them. What'd you do? You go and step on them. Well, good, because we're going to start by shooting this one in the back. Oh, I totally missed on that. That was, that was sad. We're apparently going to fight all the Falmer in existence. Ooh, someone just got zapped. Why aren't you dead yet? You should be. Oh. I, I might have shot Carlia there. My bad. My bad if so. Uh, here, can I can I do this? Or Brynjolf, rather. I, I might have shot Brynjolf. Alright, let's um let's pull the bow out again. Ow. I'm actually hurting. That's that's not good. Um, here, let's... Maybe we can get everyone to pull back. There, there's not a whole lot of options in this game for doing stuff like, you know, um, tactical movement and that sort of thing. Like, I can't really get them to, to pull back. Although that would be helpful. I mean, even if I could just give Brynjolf a, a bow, that might be helpful. Oh, thank you, Cat. I think you just took a screenshot or something. I'm not sure what you did. Okay, come on. I cannot hit this gloom lurker to save my life, or their lives, for that matter. You're going to run out of arrows before too long. I know that to be true. Ah, there we go, right over your shoulder. Are we good now? My goodness. They've probably been shooting my arrows back at me, so I guess I should pay attention to what's around little at least hmm yeah I'll leave the hanging moss it's fine elven arrow that's nice orcish arrow very least um using a bunch of potions helped uh, drop a little bit of my carrying weight so I guess that's that's something The 
this is where I want to be able to give Carlia and Brynjolf some stuff to carry. That'd be that'd be helpful. Um, how we doing? We okay? I think we're okay. Could have tried to go by them, but that's no fun. I like shooting Felmer. Gives me an excuse to use some arrows and my bow. So why not, right? Why not? Chorus, Chitin, Felmer, Helmet, Felmer, Shield, yada yada yada. Um. Is that the way we're supposed to go? Not really sure. there are a bunch of chorus this way, it will not be pleasant. We'll find out. I think there are chorus around. Maybe? Maybe not? Are you guys still with me? Carlia is. Brynjolf is. Alright, good. They decided to come along this time. All right. Come on, guys. Let's see how stealthy you can be. Reasonably stealthy thus far. Uh, these guys can't see, if I remember correctly. And with our, our lovely Nightingale stuff, we can just kind of sneak right by him, so... Whatever, it's all good. There's the chorus. Now, the chorus we can't really sneak by, per se. Not not directly in front of them. Um, no? There we go. I was going to say, I know I'm supposed to be able to go this way. This is the smart, stealthy way. Complete with all these various little guild thingy-majiggers. Uh, now the question is, where to from here? This is just like old times. I'm guessing down here. Hi, little chorus thingy. Ah, crap. And now it gets ugly. These things are nasty, if I remember right. Yep, don't kill me. Please, don't kill me. Ah, crud. Oh, hello. Hello, guys. You know what? I have an idea. Ikaba Ide. Here we go. Check this out. So much for getting the drop on him, as he says. I see water rising. What's Carlisle been filling your head with? Tales of thieves with honor, oaths ripe with falsehoods and broken promises. Nocturne doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. Um, let's just say it's personal. Revenge, is it? Have you learned nothing from your time with us? When will you open your eyes and realize how little my actions differ from yours? Both of us lie, cheat, and steal to further our own end. It's clear you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. Then the die is cast, and once again, my blade will taste Nightingale blood. All right, let's do this. Now, before we do this, allow me to drink a couple potions here. So we'll do some... Um, mm, potion of healing, and where's... Where are the uh, plentiful, no, potion of, oh, I don't know. Solution of health. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. 
Yeah, there we go. I like the sound of that. Good. Let's go fight. Alright, where'd you go, Mr. Frey? Where did he go? Um, what are they doing over there? Oh, hi. I didn't see you over there. Ah, you and your invisibility. Hi, Mercer. How's it going? Yeah, you don't like that very much, do you? Ah, too bad that didn't disarm him. That would have been hilarious. Nope, I see you, buddy. Nope, I see you still. Ah, crud, I lost him now. Oh, there he is. He's running that way. Oh, that tagged him. Yep, cheater, sir. You're a cheater. But it doesn't matter, because you're not a very good cheater. You're actually pretty terrible. It's amazing that I didn't kill him to begin with. Come on. We can do this. And done. Now, I don't know what Carlia and Brynjolf were doing over there the whole time. I think they're just fighting each other or something. They're... I don't know. Uh, let's see. Skeleton key, half yeah, garnet, gold, potions. Uh, yes. Let's take all those. Right eye. So we got the eyes. That's good. Sapphire and arrows, imperial bow of draining, dwarven sort of devouring. Um, sure, we'll go ahead and take that. And sure, we'll go ahead and take his bow, too. I mean, why not? Is there anything else? Nope. Now, the fun part is, I never remember how in the world I'm supposed to get out of here. Can I... Can I, can I do anything with the eyes? Nope, don't think so. All right. So I think there's supposed to be a tunnel underground somewhere that we go through. I don't remember. Like I said, I, I always forget. I've done this, I don't even know how many times now, and I never remember where I'm supposed to go. Um, hello, corpses. All right, I need some air. So let me grab some air. That would be Mercer's body down there. Oh, is that one of my arrows? Let's take that. I don't know who you're talking to. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to get out of here either. Is it, is it this? No, it's not that. Is it this? It's one of these. No, nope, it's not that. Is it, is it this one now? It's still not that one. Hmm. I'll be honest, I really don't remember. And every time this happens, I'm like, how do I get out of here? I, I just never remember. I'm always a little annoyed, too, because then I'm like, oh, duh, well, that was simple. Have they drowned yet? That'd be pretty awesome. Oh, look at you, you guys. You're just floating along all day like nothing's going on. Is it up here? No. No. Is it over here? Aha, it's over here. That's it. Follow the arrow. I was trying to do it without following the arrow. It was clear I could not. It was clear I could not. Are you guys with me? There you are. Ooh, potion. Doing. I don't know what that was, but it just got bounced around pretty hard. All right. I guess we're supposed to talk before we go to Skyrim. So let's talk. I can't believe it's over. Twenty-five years in exile, and just like that, it's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. Yes, safe return. I'm afraid it's not that. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the Inner Sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. It wasn't created for the Nightingales. 
It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Cool. Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure to protect the key. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Of course. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre, but I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this brew almost my entire life, and it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. I will always take a new bow. Thank you very much. Um, we could ask all sorts of questions right now, but I'm not going to because this, this has gone so long. So I'll catch you on another one when maybe we decide to wrap things up. Maybe we decide to just abuse the key. I'm not, not sure. I'll catch you on another one. Thanks for watching. See you later.